What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up LaunchBox, which is a front end for emulators and Steam games. Now LaunchBox is free to use, which I will be showing you guys the free version, but there are also paid versions of LaunchBox as well. It's $30 for a regular license that will allow you to use LaunchBox Premium and Big Box forever, but you will be required to renew your license every year for $15. Or you can pay $75 and get a forever updates license that will never expire. But this tutorial is for those of you just beginning with LaunchBox and want to take advantage of the free features. Alright guys, let's go ahead and head on over to launchboxapp.com. Link to this page is in the description below. Once you're here, we're going to go ahead and click on download now for Windows. Now go ahead and enter your email address here in this box and then click on download. And it's going to say, please check your email for the download link. Now head over to your email and this is the link that they sent me. Go ahead and click download here and your download should start. The LaunchBox setup file has now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now let's go ahead and open it. Select your language. I'm English. Okay. You can read through the license agreement if you would like. Once you're done, go ahead and click on I accept the agreement and next. Where would you like for LaunchBox to be installed? By default, it may try to install on your C drive. If you would like to change that, go ahead and select Browse, and you can select your SSD, external SSD, external hard drive, wherever you would like. I'm fine with my C drive. Next. Where should setup place the program shortcuts? So if you have some folders on your computer that you would like to put a LaunchBox shortcut in, then go ahead and hit Browse, and you can select that folder. When you're done, hit next. And now we can go ahead and hit install. Okay, we are now in LaunchBox and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to add your ROMs to LaunchBox. And in this video, I'm gonna be using GameCube ROMs. So let's go ahead and open the folder that contains our ROMs. I have four GameCube games in this folder. All I wanna do is highlight them and just drag them right into LaunchBox. And then you're going to get this pop up. What type of game files are you importing? These are ROM files, so I'm going to select ROM files. What platform are we importing games for? We are doing GameCube, so I'm just going to start typing Nintendo. Then I'm going to hit the drop down arrow and search for GameCube. Here it is. And then next. Would you like to automatically install and configure RetroArch? So if I click automatically install and configure RetroArch, LaunchBox will automatically set up the GameCube core within RetroArch so you don't have to set up anything. But I'm going to be using the standalone emulator Dolphin, which I consider to be better for GameCube games than RetroArch. So I'm going to select manually configure emulator. And I already have the standalone Dolphin emulator installed on my PC, so I'm going to select add. So now LaunchBox wants us to locate that emulator on our PC. So under application path, we're going to select browse and we're going to locate wherever that standalone Dolphin emulator is installed on our PC. Here it is, select it and open and then go ahead and hit OK. Next, would you like to move or copy the files? I am not going to move or copy my ROMs into LaunchBox. Instead, I'm going to use the files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? I'm going to leave this checked. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Now you can select every one of these and you will have images for every ROM that you upload. But I prefer to only have the ones that should already be checked, which is the front box, the full box, the spine. And we can also go ahead and add box 3D and box back. That's enough for me, but like I said, if you would like, you can select every last one of these. Once you're done, go ahead and hit next. We will not be using media from MU Movies. I'll save that for another video. Go ahead and hit next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Now this is already checked by default, but make sure that combined ROMs with matching titles into a single game is checked. And the reason I say this is because GameCube games sometimes came as a disc one and a disc two. By having this checked, it will combine both of those ROMs into one game. Next. And we are ready to import. Finish. Now give it a minute to search the metadata so that you can get your cover art. 
And there we go, I now have all four of my GameCube ROMs uploaded to LaunchBox with cover art. Now if you would like to increase the size of these boxes, then come down to this little bar and you just want to drag this up and it will increase the size of your box art. And if you would like to change your cover art to something else, then you can come up to image group and you can select something here to change your box art. So let's change it to 3D boxes. And now we have 3D boxes. And honestly, I kind of like this better. Now, once you install more games for different consoles into LaunchBox, if you come over to the left, you'll see consoles and underneath will be every console that you have uploaded to LaunchBox. So say the next emulator you upload to LaunchBox is PCSX2, then here under consoles, you will also have the image of a PlayStation 2. Now when you're ready to play a game, all you do is click on the game you wanna play. Let's do Beautiful Joe. And it will launch the Dolphin emulator and your game will load. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.